August 2nd, St. Alphonsus Liguri, Bishop and Church Doctor. Alphonsus was born in Naples in southern Italy in the year 1696 of a noble family. He was a brilliant student and made great progress in all types of learning. He could paint beautifully and was a master of the harpsichord at age 13. At age 16, he received his doctorate in law from the University of Bologna. At the ceremony, he was so small that he was buried in his doctor's gown and all the spectators spectators laugh. He then embarked on the practice of law and at the age of 19 had his first case heard in courts. He was extraordinarily able and successful and by the age of 26 one of the leaders of the Neapolitan bar. However, a mistake by which he lost a very important case showed him the vanity of human fame and determined him to labor only for the glory of God alphonsus abandoned his career as a lawyer and dedicated himself to pious exercises and charitable works on august twenty eighth of the year seventeen twenty three as he left the hospital he found himself surrounded by a mysterious light he felt the earth shake under his feet and an interior voice said why do you wait to leave the world and give yourself to me alphonse left the hospital and went to the church of the redemption of the captives he laid his sword at the feet of the statue of our lady of mercy and made a solemn resolution to enter the ecclesiastical state he prevailed over strong opposition of his father he then renounced his right of of firstborn and started to study theology from his home he was ordained in december of the year seventeen twenty six at the age of thirty for six years he developed an intense apostolate giving missions and preaching to the people especially the poor classes in rural areas later following the counsel of a bishop he founded the congregation of the most holy redeemer or the redemptorist order for the next twenty-five years he traveled through all the provinces of the kingdom of naples on continuous missions giving great success in the second part of his life when fatigue and infirmities prevented him from continuing the missionary work he concentrated his efforts on writing through which he would continue his pastoral activity he based his writings on the actual experience in confessing thousands of souls and intended that they offer his congregation practical orientation for the sacrament of penance this was the beginning of his work on moral theology he was appointed by the pope bishop of st agatha of the goths a small neapolitan diocese close to naples he reformed the lax diocese more than once facing assassination attempts finally his poor health made it impossible for him to continue a terrible attack of gout left him paralyzed to the end of his days he would only be able to say mass supported by a chair despite these infirmities the holy see did not allow him to leave his flock until the year seventeen seventy five at the age of seventy nine he then retired to the monastery of his order to prepare for death but he would have to wait eleven more years blind and deaf but still lucid he lived his last years in a wheelchair he was dangerously ill so often that he received the last rites nine times he was tormented both physically and morally because he was assaulted for some years by concerns and anguish over the future of his order as well as strong temptations against purity he died peacefully in the mother house of the redemptorists near naples on august of seventeen eighty seven the ninetieth year of his life st alphonsus was called to be an intellectual a great moralist and a doctor of the church during those first twenty-five years of his work, he was unaware of this. His only concern was doing good for the people. That contact, however, would provide him with a great familiarity of the concrete, everyday moral problems of the people. This invaluable experience would give him the elements to deal objectively with Catholic morals. His previous study of law also prepared him to be a great moralist. St. Alphonse fought to the end of his life. He was a great saint a bishop, a doctor of the church, a moralist, a founder of a religious order. With a life so replete, he was nonetheless still tormented by all kinds of spiritual temptations at the end of his life. He did not succumb to them, but God asked him to fight against them to the very end. Only by the time of his death had peace returned to his soul. One last fact from the life of Alphonsus. In the last years of his life, when he was in a wheelchair, every day a brother used to take him out to the cloister gardens for a little air. One day he asked the brother, Have we already finished the rosary? The brother answered, I do not remember if we finished them all, but I am sure that we got as far as such and such a mystery. Then Alphonsus began to pray the mysteries he was not sure he had said. 
the brother protested, but my father, you are dispensed from saying it because of your age and state of health. He replied, if I did not pray my full rosary even one day, I would fear for my salvation. It's a golden note to end the commentary on a golden life. Let us ask St. Alphonsus to protect us and all the people today who are ignorant and abandoned because of so many bad progressivist priests, bishops, and higher prelates.